Hello friends. Welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. In this sub series, we are going to see how to use I equitable interface and how this interface helps in finding how two objects are equal. So you will learn I equitable interface. Then you will learn what is the limitation of equals method that presents in the object class. Then how do you overcome the disadvantage of equals method in the object class by overriding it in our custom class. When you compare two value types .NET compares the bit pattern of the storage content. The storage content here is a value itself. But for a reference type, the story is different. We already saw that in the previous video also. I mean, when we implemented the iComparable inter interface, that time itself we saw this in detail. Now, let's check this once again. Let's say we have, if you see here, we have declaration as well as initialization and we created two variable x and y and we assigned value 10 and 20. Then here we are comparing x equal to y. So what happens, here is the content. So if you see here, the content itself holds the value 10 and 20. So let's say there is a, some bit pattern. This may not be equal to 10, but I'm just uh, providing some uh, a bit pattern. But uh, when you convert this, you want to get this bit number. This is just for example, I have taken like this. So this binary represents a decimal of 10 and this binary represents a decimal of 20. Here when we compare x equal to y, these two bit patterns are compared and these two bit pattern represents the value itself. So here we are comparing the value and 10 not equal to 20. So here we, we will be getting false. Now let's consider a reference type. So here what happens, let's say pt1, so here content is not a value, it's a, a address location of, it's a address location of a heap, here you can see 0x and in pt2 we are not storing the content, here we are storing the address 0y. And in 0x, we have two compartment to store 10, 10, I mean x, y coordinate. In oy, we have two compartments to store 20, 20. Here, when we compare, it will compare the content, the equality operator. Here, it will compare the content. Content means it will compare 0x with 0y and it tells no. But if the content here is 10 comma 10, let's say instead of 20, if you created 10 comma, so instead of 20, 20, let's say we created the second point also with value 10, 10, but the address locations are different. Why? Because here there is a new keyword, here also there is a new keyword. We will create a two heap location, definitely they will be in a two different address. And when you use equal to operator, these two content varies and this will return false. But our intention is to return true because the content is the same in both the cases. This is 10, 10 and this one also holding the value 10. Both points are equal content wise. But here, since the PT1, PT2 holds address and that address is different, this will return false. 
So that's how the equality operator won't work for a reference type, but it works well for the value type. For reference type, one should use equals method offered by the object. But the equals method also won't check the content. So in that case, we have to override the equals method. This function compares only the address of the heap and not the content of it. That means whatever this equal to equal to is doing, the same step for object.equals method also do. When both are pointing to the same location, object.equals method returns true. So in that case, it's okay. But here in this scenario, the values are 10, 10 but they are at different locations, so the equals method also won't work. I mean the equals method of object. To change this default behavior, the class should implement i equal table. So if you are creating a custom class called point, then your point class should implement i equal table interface and override the equal method and the equal method tells when two objects are equal. For example, let's say here we consider a point class. Let's consider one more example of a student class. Student class may have many fields, but uh, equals method. So here we are overriding the equals method, right? Equals method compares only the student ID. So it's up to us to say when two students are equal. So when student IDs are equal, then we can say two objects are same. So a student one have a ID and name X. Student two have a different ID still holds the same name. So in that case, we will be comparing only the ID and if ID differs, we say even though the name is same, we will say these two students are different and they share the same name, but their IDs are different. So when we are overriding the equals method, we will compare only the student ID. Alright, there is no demo here. That's all here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.